normally this bishop is here, but in this variation, I played bishop here, bishop here, because I had secret illegal analysis. <laughs> I wish I was kidding, but I wasn't kidding there. So this has happened to me more than once. I analyze a variation with somebody, and then I have a chance to play it. Am I supposed to play it or let them play it? So I was like, well, if I play it, I might win, so I played it. That's good ethics there, right? So at the World Youth, uh, one of my people I was coaching, he showed me this variation. And I played the Carol Khan with Black, and so does he. He just knows more theory than I do because he's a kid. And we analyzed this, and he showed me what to do. And then I analyzed it for a couple hours and sent him more analysis. And then I had all this analysis on it, and then I got a chance to play it. So I was like, well, I did the analysis. And I didn't know the variation existed, but I knew the analysis. And the variation is after C4, which is explosive. explosive. I played a more explosive move. C5. Close. It couldn't be closer. B5? B5, yeah. And I have to play B5, because if I don't, I can't show this game in my lecture. What's the name of this lecture? Isolated, isolated pawn. And she took, so now she has an isolated D pawn. Okay, and this is pretty funny, because in this position, um, which is a known pawn sacrifice, I remember looking at um, takes, which has never been played, and queen takes, I know I was with the computer, the computer says black wins. And I was like, great. So I wasn't worried about that anymore. And she played king b1, which is, uh, you know, that's a chess move. And in this position, nobody takes on b5. Everybody plays. Everybody always plays. C5. No, if you've watched my lectures, you know. Always play. Bishop f1. Right, which you can't <laughs> legally play. Which you can't do. you got to follow some other rule now. <laughs> always play. King B1, right. And then takes, takes, castles, queen C6. This is a pawn sack, and I analyzed this for a couple hours and wrote some notes, and I was prepared for the game. And my opponent didn't know the move bishop C7 and B5, so she thought forever, and she, like, took it. And I was like, okay, I just looked at this in case they take it. And then she played king B1, so this is just terrible for her because it's a normal position, but she has an isolated pawn. So, and now you don't win a pawn, so... And C takes B5 and King B1's never been played before. So. Um, taking both ways is good. I took with the queen, because when they have an isolated pawn, I want the queens off, as we discussed. And so we got this position. White's just a little bit worse because of this isolated pawn, and there's really no compensation. And what did we do? She stopped me from castling, which I didn't want to do. So that was good. And she didn't see her bishop was hanging, so I took it next move. <laughs> And the kids don't get it. They're like, man, I'm, I'm their bishop just like I do. Of course I Yeah, okay. And now I had to break one of my favorite rules. Never play f6. Because when you have an isolated pawn, as discussed in the previous game, you're controlling these squares. So you want to play knight c5 and knight e5 and knife f5. So f6, uh, stopping this forever. My king can go to one of these squares defending my weak pawn, and my rooks are connected. Okay, and that's what happened. Hooray! And once again, see, better for black. Just a little, but better for black. And the game goes on. Not super interesting, but she has an isolated pawn and I don't, so it's just no fun for white. And the problem with white's position is I can play for a win because I could do stuff like try to attack this pawn with rook d5, try to attack this pawn with knight f5, and she can try to defend so that's no fun, right? So when you have an isolated pawn, you don't want to trade queens. When you castle opposite sides, which we didn't do, but it looks like we did. White doesn't want to trade queens. White's playing for the initiative. And so white has no initiative. White has nothing for the isolated pawn. And white's just worse. And due to further blunders, I won the game. There were many blunders. A4 following my rule, that was good. Okay, and black's a pawn up. Black has doubled isolated pawns. Yay. And I have the B file. The B file's great. And Rook C, it was a funny move. Now isolated pawn again. Wow, double isolated pawn. And this was a funny blunder, the double blunder. Watch the double blunder, it's very funny. My opponent played Rook takes A4, double question mark. Now, if this was the 1980s, I would have won the game now because my opponent wasn't born yet. Right? Yeah, that kid got it. Okay. But. The reason, the actual reason is, if it was the 80s or 90s, this would have been move 41. 
and we would have more time on our clock. This tournament was game in 90. It don't matter what move it is, there's no more time. You just, you, your flag falls. Rook A4 is triple question mark. Okay, now black wins instantly, but I didn't see it. Also, my opponent didn't see it. We're good. That's why Agnes Carlson is very afraid of playing us. It's like an insult to him. Did you have an answer? Yeah. If so, is it wrong? Oh, I know. No. What, you with the wrong answer? Rook takes A4. Yeah. Rook takes A4, then Rook B1 check. Yeah. And the king E2, and then Knight C3 check. Yeah, that's hard to see, isn't it? It was for me and my opponent. I played there because two pigs on the seventh from last class. Yeah, see, that guy knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, Rook takes A4 and resigns. Right. Then if you couldn't hear at home, because, you know, you're like, you're, you're vacuuming or something, then this, this is good for black. Preferable, anyway. Okay, so I play. I didn't see any of that. I trusted my opponent's all the tactics and believed her and played Rook C2. Now, I just figured this is so winning it doesn't matter. And, yeah, in this position, uh, white has to play d5 either here or next move. I think here. And I'm still, like, barely winning. Yeah, d5 is the only move. Then we try to open up black's king, give black an isolated pawn. No! And then maybe white has drawing chances. Instead, the game ended pretty quickly. Okay, and then, black re and then white resigned because the computer doesn't like white anymore. <laughs>